Uh, Representative Mitchell, you uh, delineated a few of expenses that you thought were not justified. Can you go through those numbers again? Was it $6,000 and $9,000? Can you tell me exactly what you used in your opening statement? Sure, Representative. So. Um, Many places, for example, the only Department of Transportation sends folks to uh, places like the City Club of Chicago. And they go and they take tickets that are offered uh, generally pro bono to those agencies to hear about from great executives, et cetera. Most agencies don't pay for those. The Toll Highway Authority, however, does. So in the last, I want to say, year, they spent about $9,000 on these tickets as opposed to the six years prior where only 1,000 were spent since there was a new board put in place that has sort of had all of these issues. I also okay. noted, for example, a 10-year contract with links to three members of the board worth $157 million, as well as um, over a million dollars in contracts over nine months to outside PR firms with connections to the board. So those were the three examples I used, Representative. Okay, so uh, do you know how much those um, outside contracts potentially cost the taxpayers? I so I, th I, think I, I think I just listed them, Representative. Oh, okay, all right. Well, yeah. we don't have exact figures there. Well, you had $157 million, but we don't know if, if that overlay or that additional, there was additional cost just because those contracts went to there could what be. you are saying are conflict of interest. There, there, Representative, there, I would be speculating to answer that question. I would say it, you could be right. I just don't know. Okay, thank you. Um, next question is, um, did you, uh, did any of the Democrat members of the board, because it is a bipartisan board, did they approach you to get this legislation passed? No. Okay, um, are you aware that James Banks is one of the uh, Democrats and he's the longest serving member since 1993? Do you know whether or not he approved or voted for these contracts that you say were in a conflict of interest? I don't know that off the top of my head, Representative. I would also just note in no, the- I'm just asking, do you know whether or not he voted for those contracts or were these contracts unanimous among the board uh, that you're saying went forward? I don't have that information, Representative. I didn't think you did. How about the other longest, there's two, the two longest serving members of the board, the other one is a Democrat. His name is David Gonzalez. He's been on the board since 2011. Do you know whether or not he voted for these um, contracts that are obviously in conflict? Or, or what you were saying is a conflict of interest? Same answer, Representative. Okay, you don't know whether or not they voted for it. Okay, um, Mr. Speaker, to the bill. Look, I have been very outspoken about the tollway. You can check my, my, uh, my comments in the Daily Herald. Marnie Pike, who covers the tollway for the Daily Herald, texts me all the time to comment on tollway issues. And I freely text her back all the time. I'm just as disgusted about nepotism. I'm just disgusted about hiring communications teams that are outside of the agency. I've, I've commented on this in public. It makes me mad, but what you're talking about doing here with this bill is nothing than a per craven political agenda being put in place. That's what it is, and here's why. There's actually 11 members on the board. One is the governor, the other one is the Department of Transportation Secretary. Those two members go away within a week. There are five other members whose actual uh, uh, term ends May 1st of this year. So the entire board, seven members, a majority of the board, will actually turn over by May 1st. Nothing is going to get done between now and May 1st on the tollway that is going to be that impactful to taxpayers that can't be handled with new members. And as the sponsor of this bill t just told you, he can't even tell you whether or not the Democrat members voted for or against these same contracts that he says are in conflict. So you've got, you know what, I'm sorry. This is only being done for political purposes. There's no need for this legislation. The new administration, I'm sure, can handle this. He can put all his new appointments in. He can own the majority of the board, and then that'll be done. But for the record, I've been very outspoken about the tollway. I, this is just a political statement, it's a political bill, vote no.